Hi, I'm Sid and this is my teacher, Nina. She helps me learn new things every day. Welcome to your Max class. Before we begin, a quick reminder to keep your journals open in front of you throughout the class. Let's set a clear aim for today's class. You may already know how to add and subtract two numbers. We have learned how to round off a given number. Finally, do you remember how to identify a number pattern? Today, we are going to find out about compatible numbers. Specifically, we will learn more about using compatible numbers and rounding off to add and subtract large numbers in a pattern. Now, write in your journal in your own words. What is the aim of the class today? written down what we are going to learn today. Time for a quick activity. Let's get started. Take a sheet of paper, a pencil, an eraser and a ruler. Take a sheet of paper and a ruler. Draw a straight horizontal line. Align the rulers zero with the starting point of the line. Make marks at zero, three, six, nine, and 12 like this. Write the number 17,544 below the first point. 27,544 below the second point. 37,544 below the third point. 47,544 below the fourth point. And 57,000 544 below the fifth point.
Sid, what have you found? I found that there is a difference of 10,000 between the first number and the second number. The second number and the third number and so on. Correct, Sid. So, we can say that each number increases by 10,000. Compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to work with mentally and are close to the actual number. Compatible number of 17,544 is 20,000. As it is close to 20,000 and it is easy to work with. Now, find the compatible numbers for the rest of the numbers. Write the answers below the respective numbers in the number line. Which compatible numbers did you write? I wrote 30,027,544. 40,000 under 37,544. 50,000 under 47,544. And 60,000 under 57,544. Correct! We can write the compatible number of a given number by taking a number that is easy to work with and is close to the actual number. Now, add the second and the third compatible numbers on the number line. Write the answer in your journal. What is your answer? I got 70,000 when I added 30,000 and 40,000. Hmm, correct, Sid. Find the difference between the fourth and the fifth compatible number in the number line.
Sid, is your answer? The difference between 60,000 and 50,000 is 10,000. Good, Sid. We can easily add and subtract these numbers as we are using compatible numbers. Time for analysis. Let's watch a Cool Talk video. I need 1,000 grams of ingredients to make fruit salad at school. Apples are 154 grams. Bananas, 396 grams. And pears, 248 grams. How do I add the weights mentally? Must be around 800 grams. How do you know? Just rounded off the weights. What's that? When the digit in the ones place is less than five, it's changed to zero. 154 is rounded off to 150. If the digit at ones place is more than five, we round it off to the next tens. 396 is rounded to 400 grams. 248 is rounded to 250. That's quick. Now let's add the numbers that are easy to add. 250 and 150? Good. Now add these compatible numbers. What's that? Compatible numbers are easy to add. After addition, they give numbers ending with zero. Like 150 and 250? Their sum is 400 grams. 400 grams plus 400 grams is 800 grams. How much cream will make the total weight 1,000 grams? Find a compatible number that can be added to 800 grams to make 1,000 grams. 200 grams. I bought 800 grams of fruit and 200 grams of cream. Here are 8,000 grams of fruit and cream. How much more ingredients would make 10,000 grams of salad? 2,000 grams. <laughs> In the analysis section of your journal, write in your own words what you learned from the video. Today we learned that compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to work with mentally. They are close to the actual numbers. Compatible numbers are used to add, subtract, multiply and divide two numbers quickly. Finding compatible number is different from rounding off numbers because while rounding off, we follow some rules. Though both methods are used to find and estimate, and to calculate easily. We will now solve a problem. But before that, 
Let's watch the cool talk again. I need 1000 grams of ingredients to make fruit salad at school. Apples are 154 grams. Bananas 396 grams and pears 248 grams. How do I add the weights mentally? Must be around 800 grams. How do you know? Just rounded off the weights. What's that? When the digit in the ones place is less than five, it's changed to zero. 154 is rounded off to 150. If the digit at ones place is more than five, we round it off to the next tens. 396 is rounded to 400 grams. 248 is rounded to 250. That's quick. Now let's add the numbers that are easy to add. 250 and 150? Good. Now add these compatible numbers. What's that? Compatible numbers are easy to add. After addition, they give numbers ending with zero. Like 150 and 250? Their sum is 400 grams. 400 grams plus 400 grams is 800 grams. How much cream will make the total weight 1,000 grams? Find a compatible number that can be added to 800 grams to make 1,000 grams. 200 grams. I bought 800 grams of fruit and 200 grams of cream. Here are 8,000 grams of fruit and cream. How much more ingredients would make 10,000 grams of salad? 2,000 grams. <laughs> Time to apply what we have learned to a real problem. There are two heaps of pebbles near a construction site. Heap A has 32,000. 382 pebbles and heap B has 48,990 pebbles. Jeff has written that the compatible number of one of the heaps is 30,000. Which heap did he mean? Write down your answer in your journal. Your time starts now. I hope all of you have finished answering the question. Sid, what is your answer? My answer is heap A. Good work, Sid. Since 30,000 is very close to 32,382, the answer is heap A. Time for a quick quiz. Let's see if we remember what we learned in the class today. Shake the bubble for the correct answer in your journal. The compatible numbers of 
12,250 and 48,676 will be A. 600 B. 6,000 C. 60,000 D. 600,000 are kept a proof. One tank contains 11,234 litres of water. The second tank contains 18,767 litres of water. Approximately. How much water is there in both the tanks? Find the answer using compatible numbers. A. 30 litres B. 300 litres C. 3,000 litres, D, 30,000 litres. Class, we learned so many things about compatible numbers. Now, I can easily add and subtract numbers using compatible numbers and rounding off. See you next time.